The first one is Butter and uh, Jake. Jake. And thank you guys for, for taking time to join us. Uh, no tell, tell me briefly before we talk uh, a little more with Elaine, how did you get involved with the Pittsburgh Literacy in Initiative? What? Well, Salita Hickman, another woman that works for, you know, mm -hmm. Pittsburgh Literacy, she lives in our neighborhood. Yeah. We had already knew her, and she had contacted us to see if we could do a rap for him. And we agreed, and we put it on the radio. And, you know. Okay. So you did a rap for her. Well, you must have had a reputation of being pretty good at rap, Jake. Is that right? Well, she knew Butter because he's like a local DJ in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And uh, since we're friends, he, like, introduced me to her. And, you know, I'm pretty good. I'm not trying to <laughs> brag. Yeah. At first, yeah. Jake, you're, a, you're an athlete, too, right? You're, you're a football player. Well, yeah, you could say that. Do you play on the character? Well, obviously, you play on the character team, right? Yeah, I play. Okay. But are you a, a, you a football player also? No. You're just a, a producer of records. And yeah. How long have you been, how long you been involved in the rap um, About medium? <laughs> three years. About three years. You know, I was telling you during the break, um, uh, being in jazz most of my life, in fact, in fact all of my life, uh, a couple of uh, of our most respected jazz musicians in America today, Max Roach, I, I think even uh, Witten Marsalis, Miles Davis, have a lot of respect for the rap, the rap style, and they think that like jazz, like jazz started 50, 60 years ago, the rap is starting, and uh, it's going to be a, a kind of an artistic form in music. Well, how? Uh, how did you how did you folks use these guys? Well, we wanted to promote uh, literacy, and we wanted to draw in people who needed help in reading adults. And so uh, Salita, who had who knew these fellows, and and uh, really she's a very with it kind of person, and she mm -hmm. she just thought it would be a great idea to have a rap tape having to do with literacy and how important it was for people to read. And so we put this on Whammo Radio, and uh, it runs, and I think it's still running. And so is, uh, it, is it like a public service? Yes, spot, it is. Or? Yes, it is. Yeah. Do you do other raps, uh, Butter? Or, you know about about other subjects? Yeah, yeah. yeah but well, do you, do, you do them around school, or do you do them on a uh, as an entertainer? I have my own studio at home. We make demo tapes, and you know, send them off to the various places. Sometimes we rent a track machine. You know, so we can get serious, you yeah. know, with the uh, beat. And, Do, yeah. Have you gone around uh, performing in live appearances uh, on behalf of uh, Pittsburgh Literacy? Uh, have you gone to schools or anything like that? Well, what we uh, did something for CCAC. It's for the uh, sex equity program. I mean, it involves literacy, but it's uh, mostly about job training and yeah. applying yourself in school. So it's basically the same thing. You guys obviously must have some feelings about this reading problem. Uh, do you, is it something you would like to, uh, to be a part of to help promote, to, you know, to get young people to realize how important it is to read? We try to make it our best so, you know, we can get a point across so they won't have any problem, you know, yeah. once they get That's older. That's why we're involved. What do you think? We've kept them in suspense long enough? Can, can you do the rap for us? I know, I know you had a drum machine and we can't hook it up because we just weren't prepared for you, but could you do it without the drum machine? Sure. Okay. Let's do it. <clears throat> now life is like a race, race. and everybody's in, in it. it. The strongest and the smartest are the ones who are going to win, win it. it, but you can't win the race with, with two left feet. feet. And if you don't know how to read, you can't even compete. That's why the Pittsburgh Literacy Initiative, Initiative is offering you the big incentive, Compl completely confidential personal and free we can teach you simple reading skills easily. easily don't be ashamed if you can't read a book from cover, cover to cover, cover because we all had to learn at, at one time, time or another your time has come your time is now you can improve your reading and we'll show you how yeah <laughs> i mean it i really like it what do you think there studio audience <laughs> i wish we had a big studio audience that's marvelous. Have you been getting good reaction from that? Yes, we have gotten a few calls. We don't always find out that they called because they heard the rap on the radio, but mm -hmm. uh, I think we have gotten a few calls from, from this. Rap. Elaine, I know your organization works a lot with adults. And, yes. and, and, but what do you do with young people?